Well, it's a tough job to be the top prosecutor in Milwaukee County, but after nearly 20 years, DA John Chisholm is stepping away and will not seek re-election. Sean Gallagher shows us the legacy Chisholm leaves behind. Through 18 years of service to the community, District Attorney John Chisholm is known for advancing things like bail reform and restorative justice, not just looking to lock people up, just to lock them up. I've been a friend of, of John's since day one. Attorney Mike Maestelman says he introduced D.A. Chisholm to Milwaukee back in 2007. He's gotten to know the man in a variety of ways. I've dealt with him as his friend, uh, as an advisor, and representing criminals. And he does not agree with my position a lot when it comes to representing criminals, but he's always uh, forthright. Maestelman highlights Chisholm's work at justice reform, among the first DAs in the country to really consider getting people help and not letting a mistake ruin their lives. He was really the godfather of, uh, of this kind of reform before it was popular around the country. But he's no stranger to scrutiny. Chisholm stepped up to admit his office messed up in setting an inappropriately low bail for Daryl Brooks. Brooks, of course, able to get out of jail and later drove his car through the Waukesha Christmas Parade, killing six and injuring dozens of other people. So hearing of Chisholm stepping away from the limelight Kudos to him leaving. was positive news for Maria Hamilton. Her son, Dontre, was killed by Milwaukee police officer Christopher Manny in 2014, and Chisholm's office chose not to charge him. The entire system is broken, and it needs to be revamped. Hamilton says it's not just her family, but the family of other Milwaukeeans killed by police. Corey Stingley, Derek Williams, even as recently as Keyshawn Thomas, a man who overdosed in a cell after ingesting drugs in 2022. Chisholm's office did charge two officers related to his death. One of those officers accepting a plea deal Friday for his role. Why would they offer him a plea, period? That family should have had their day in court. But once again, the DA's office, they take the low ball role where the police won't uh, have to be held accountable. She also wishes the DA was tougher on crime. From 2015 to 2022, Chisholm's office has seen a drop of nine percentage points in the number of felony cases resulting in charges. We need people who are dedicated to being tough on crime. Maestelman knows decisions by the DA won't make everyone happy, but he stands by how Chisholm handled the county over the years. He's been good for the county. He's a good human being, and he's going to be sorely missed. This year marks 10 years since Dontre Hamilton was killed, and Miss Hamilton hopes to mark this year with change within the district attorney's office to hold police officers accountable. Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News. All right, Sean, thanks. Chisholm's term ends in a year from now. An election will be held in the fall for replacement.